Hi everyone, it's Jerry. In just a little bit, I'm going to be playing a handful of games for the first time against Maya Chess. I'm currently at the site mayachess.com. Uh, their description is that it's a human-like neural network chess engine. I'd like to share a few details about this project before I go ahead and play. Uh, first of all, the masterminds behind this uh, Microsoft researchers and collaborators at the University of Toronto and Cornell. They've created this chess AI uh, that better matches human play at various skill levels. This was one of the first questions I had when I learned of Maya chess. Uh, what's the difference between Alpha Zero, Leela Zero, and Maya chess? Well, Maya chess's goal is to play the human move, not necessarily the objective best move. And so we're getting a more human-like style as a result of this and uh, matching moves played by human players in online games over half the time. That's what Maya is doing right now. I imagine it will only improve with some time. Uh, additionally, uh, Maya is learning from online human games instead of self-play. That's the key difference. Alpha Zero, Leela Zero, learned through self-play. Maya is learning from online human games. It's trained on millions of games. It's trying to predict the human move played in each position. They trained a bunch of different versions, uh, ELO 1100 through 1900. Each version learned from 12 million human games, and it learns how chess is typically played at uh, its specific level. Uh, this is a cool example right here how they measure this move matching accuracy. You could see that from this position with white to move, uh, the levels 1100 through 1400 are going with B6, which is closing the position. This is, you could definitely see this human-like move, this idea, oh, I'm going to attack the queen and missing that the queen could take the pawn and be defending the knight. Whereas the stronger player, 1500 and above, are more inclined to capture away, blast open the position, and get at the king. So that's pretty neat. And yeah, a lot of interesting stuff at this site, so feel free to check it out. I'll just add one other detail before diving into playing this right here, uh, which I think is the coolest part, <laughs> maybe a scary part. Uh, personalizing to individual players. Their current work, they're looking to... Yeah, can they predict a particular uh, particular moves by human players? And yeah, it's turning out that they can with a pretty high uh, degree of accuracy. 75% of the time they could predict a particular player's moves. So what what does this mean or what can this mean? Well, uh, maybe, maybe at some point we're going to see a... Uh, a Maya Magnus or a Magnus Maya, <laughs> where it's only looking at Magnus Carlsen's games. And, uh, you know, then you get to train against that Maya as if you were playing against Magnus. You get a feel for what type of moves he would throw your way and maybe what. That's how eventually he's going to end up getting dethroned. Is Maya Chess going to uh, play its part in doing just that? Anyhow, Check out the site. I think this is all very exciting stuff, and I am interested to go ahead and play away, and we can already do that on leechess.org. Uh, there are three Mayas only at this time. Maya 1, Maya 5, and Maya 9. Uh, rating levels 1100, 1500, and 1900, so... I'm interested to see what type of play I get from each. So let me go ahead and challenge. Uh, I'm not sure how many games I'm going to play. I think I'll stick with 3-2 uh, uh, as the time control. I think I'd like to try a game with white and black against each of these. And we'll see what we get. Yeah, okay, I'll go. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll choose white here. Okay, so I'm able to dive right in. So this is all very new. Okay, what is it saying? Hi, Chess Network. This engine was trained ELO 1100 players. Good luck, have fun. 
All right, let's try D4 and let's see what kind of 1100 stuff we get. Are we even going to get a move? Oh, okay. I was kind of nervous there. <laughs> Did that whole intro for nothing? We weren't going to get a game? All right. Now well, let's get a pawn duo going. Okay. Is black going to allow this? Yes. I could play with the trio. So, so far, I think I also, I read a bunch of other stuff about this. The first 10 moves can be kind of, you know, just kind of book stuff. But once it's beyond maybe move 10, that's when it's, you maybe start to see a bit more human-like stuff. So we have a closed center. I like going for this this pin, and then I try to sneak my knight into d2. Okay, that right there. Um, I think after I play bishop to g3, it's important knight h5 is played. Okay, that move isn't played, so I already feel pretty comfortable in this game. Uh, this pawn is attacked twice. I've even seen a sacrifice on this square. Okay, so already here's here's the blunder. So this is a this is a human a human move right here, huh? Giving me this piece. I guess there can be some some little tricks. Take the bishop knight to d3. That really shouldn't uh, be anything to be scared about. That just seems to be a free piece. Miscalculation, seeing that I had missing that I had two on that one. Yeah, it's just a check. The knight gets this pawn, but maybe it ends up getting a track down, actually. I'll step up. Does it take here? Yeah. Okay. Now this knight is is going to be hunted. Okay. So we're just getting... We're getting the material. B6, yeah. Defending. Uh, I could take on Passan. I don't I don't care about having the position open up though on the queen side. I just want to have this uh I want to focus just on the king side. So let's get into these light squares. Trade down. Yeah. Okay, we land forks. <laughs> oh, I just uh I mouse slipped there. I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I want to just take the rook. Okay, I'm still up a piece. Let's get this other knight into f5. All right, these are very committal moves. The light squares are super compromised. I guess we could just go ahead and pile up on that b6 pawn. There, hit three times. Pawn is toast. Let's not spend too much more time on this game. It's over. It is over. Or is it? Take here. Now we get to simplify into a king and pawn ending. Chop with check. Or just win pieces. Could do that too. Try and keep it really simple. Really simple. There, I get a queen. I wonder, I wonder if, you know, if Maya's in a winning position, if, you know, when it comes down to a queen ending like this, if it goes for this little stair, la stair ladder uh, or step ladder type of mate. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do two games for each one. Yeah, I guess, I guess I'll try another one, actually. Yeah, let's tr try it with black. Okay, I have black here. So let's see if we're going to get the move. Just takes a little time. I think there's multiple games going on that Maya's playing right now. Yeah. Okay. So D4 game. Let's try E6. Okay. I'm going to go for this. We get a couple minor pieces exchange. Oh, I forgot that there's this bishop move. I do have C5. I think I'm going to go with C5. I end up in the pin. But it's not one that could be exploited, or can it? I missed this double attack. All right. <laughs> All right, we saved the knight. Ah, oh, well played. All right, I'm on the ropes. My 
king side has been wiped out. Okay, now that's a mistake, I think. I do have some dark square control. Let's go with this. Okay, they're all, also, this is an issue, too. So I'm down some material, but I'm able to, to swipe that knight and have a strong knight versus a bad bishop. So I'm going to go for that. I'm going to castle. There, uh, there's nothing stopping the, the knight from getting here, but there's maybe a possibility to stop me from castling queenside. I certainly don't want to go towards the king side, or I can't after I move that guy. All right, so I still should have some attack here. And just duck that exchange. Should I? Oh, I think I could win the queen. Ah, there's a... I'm able to track the queen down. My knight is controlling this square. Yeah, the queen's going to be lost. There's a blunder. Yeah, I could totally see that. Uh, totally see that happening. All right. Let's take there. We have any cool mates? Uh, I could take here. <laughs> Discovered attack. All right, or we could actually get a cool mate. Sacrifice here. We got these covered. And there's the mate. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to play now against Maya through... What is it? Maya 5. Maya 5. I'm guessing that there'll be more with some time. This is all super new. So let's check out Maya 5 playing at the 1500 level. All right, so let's let's dive in, challenge away. 3 2 Yeah, I'll we'll just stick with that. I'll go white and then black. All right, let's try E4 this time against Maya 5. This human-like engine is very good um you know, I, I'll occasionally hear from players who aren't really a fan of playing against humans. They prefer to play against computer. Uh, this gets my vote. You know, if you're going to play against computer, play play against the Mayas. I think this is pretty neat. All right, let's let's damage the structure. Um, because. You know, when it's the stockfish levels, what is that really? It's just, um, you know, they adjust stockfish so that it doesn't have as long to think, you know, in order to influence the rating. Or, you know, they, they don't allow it to uh, calculate as deep. Okay, let's, let's start with this. I, I want to, okay, so that's already a bit of a mistake. I could totally see that. Happening too, yeah. E6 instead of bringing the bishop out to F5. So now this guy is, should be problem. It should be a problem for black. All right, this knight belongs here. Yes, for sure. And this pawn belongs here. I don't want to go here because then these uh, doubled pawns can undouble. And I want to play C4. And keep the queens on. So c4 now, chop, chop, queens are exchanged. I'm maybe still good in that position, but I want to duck the queen exchange. And I want to get c4 in because I want to freeze these guys. So c4 first. And if I play here and then d4, I want to play here next to put some pressure on this guy. But I'm going to fall for a tactic. So I may need to first castle, kingside. I do have some concerns about the position opening up a little bit with f6. There's not really much I could do about that, though. Okay, that, that should be a mistake, because bishop pair, you know, black should be seeking some open position. And, uh, yeah, this is just closing shop. All right, so this is the only pawn break that concerns me. If I play knight here, knight f4, queen here, I think I should be fine. Step up, and the knight simply has to go back. Um, I kind of don't like my queen on e4. I want my knight to be on e4. Maybe we repeat. 
<laughs> okay, I'm not going to go for a repetition. Maybe I uh, I go like this or something. And then queen back, because then my bishop's watching over f4. Let, let's let's try this. Vacate f1. That's that's kind of a passing move, a nothing move. All right, that's also a kind of a nothing move. The queen, it's tough for black to make progress on the queen side. All right, so now, or maybe, maybe I could even consider this now that my queen. Yeah, let's go with this h4, h5 idea. Okay, now it's opening up. What about this? Can I capture? I should capture on Poisson. Can I still get that knight to boot? Still follow through. I'm down on time too. Okay, so now I get to take, I get to win a pawn here. Gotta go fast. Uh, let's take with check and I'm gonna get it here. Okay, the king had to go there and I'm getting a piece. Gotta go faster. All right, we got this under control though. Well, let's get this guy in the ball game. Save that pawn. Why are you moving so fast, Maya? Slow down. Gonna get the mates? Gonna get the mates soon? Where are the mates? Getting mates? That's a cool mate. Okay, yeah. Four minutes remaining. Let's try one more. We'll do rematch for Maya 5. And then two more after this. So Team Black. So yeah, the light square bishop was the struggling piece in that one. It was never... It never observed my side of the board. Okay. Let's try... Uh, um, let's try, let's try d6, I guess. d6, knight f6. Let's try this. See how, I'm going to try and predict what kind of mistake is made. I'm, I'm guessing when this move is played, there's going to be either a capture or a push. Not necessarily right away, but... Maybe uh, within a few moves, the tension will be resolved. I think that that's a common, common mistake to maybe see it around the 1500 level. See, there it is. See, opening up this square right here. Now my knight can move. My bishop's free to see the world. It really just helps my position out a whole lot. And I think I should immediately make use of this square and ask White how they're going to defend there. They could go with the bishop. I could take the bishop, and I may want to, even though it's their, it still is a bishop. It's a bad bishop. Um, if I don't take the bishop, it can back off, and then maybe this knight cannot be maintained. Um, I'm used to just go ahead and capture on that square, so this is the pawn break I'm looking forward to. I don't think I want a fianchetto. Let's just go here castle i could consider this here and b4 would be a mistake because of a5 and b4 cannot be maintained because of the rook being unprotected i don't think bishop to g4 is a good idea let's go with knight d7 um could also consider knight here since there aren't any tactics anymore in h5 hmm Here and then here is kind of annoying. I think I'm going to try putting the knight here. This is the direction I should be playing in. Okay, that. Yeah, that's 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 human-like. That sticks out as human. Stopping uh, bishop g4. Maybe, maybe the reasoning around this level as well. I need a flight square and... Okay. Maybe even setting up some kind of fork idea, though. That really wouldn't be working, because when I recapture with the bishop, I'm on the queen. I gotta go faster. Alright, so once more, the tension is resolved right away. Now there's a pin. White's going into a pin there. So I guess we could try to pile up on the pin. Let's go here. Although knight takes knight is with check. Okay, there's a mistake. <laughs> I can win the exchange. So let's first take with the knight. This pin is still present, so I should... It's not a pin, it's a skewer, but it's a... Uh, uh, it's a the, the, the rook is pinned to the queen, so let's not resolve that just yet. What's a, what's a purposeful move here? How about connecting rooks? That rook's not going anywhere exciting. All right, bishop there. Let's give that guy a boot. 
Go away. Get out of my house. There's still a pin. Prepare to double. All right. Here, here. Got to go faster. The knight's trapped. Ah, how about that? The knight is officially cooked right there. Let's get the queens off. All right, we're up a rook. Should be smooth sailing from here. This is the new open file. I want to control it. Uh, let's just get the rooks off, actually. Let's run it like this. Mm, no, let's just go here. I'm just slightly concerned about maybe stalemates. All right. Get this one over with. Okay, final two. Let's check out the strongest one so far. I'd really like to see other uh, Mayas eventually. So let's check out Maya number nine. Maya nine is the final one. Two games against Maya nine. The rating, blitz rating right now around 1900, 1918. So let's give it a go. Currently playing three games is this uh, Maya nine bot. Let's do it. Okay, 3-2. Final two games. See how this goes. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, I think when some stronger ones are, are around, I think I could see myself playing more against the Mayas. How about... Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Am I counting the chickens before they hatch? Am I trying to say I'm going to beat Nehemiah 9? Let's go with the Sicilian. Open Sicilian. Nothing exciting so far. Okay, that move. Um, let's go with this. All right, so immediately capturing, damaging the structure. I definitely want to take with this guy. I need my pawn around to watch over d5. This knight would kill me if I don't do that. Um, is queen here a move? Knight here, chop. Check here, trade queen. I have a fork too, so I have to do something about that. Okay, knight just backs off. That seems sensible. Um, all right, so let's first stop knight to d5. Not sure exactly how to play this. Not sure where this guy get, wants to go. Do I know where this guy wants to go? I think my queen doesn't like being on b6 in this position. Maybe maybe I want to get the b-pawn rolling. Mm, let's go back. f4. Makes sense. Um, I don't know if I want to play with b5. I'm fearing some kind of sacrifice. Let's go with bishop b7. Queenside castle. Mm, yeah. Let's go queenside castle. All right, this I'm going to play so I don't have to deal with bishop here. This could be a sore spot for me, having to constantly babysit the f7 pawn. Okay, that feels wrong because I could clamp down on these pawns. I'm looking at this square now eventually for a rook pivot. Could have some nice lateral influence. So let's go with h4 first. Okay, I have that square covered. Uh, let's step here. Mm, might be angling for knight here still. I think the king belongs here. Yeah, you're going in for that, huh? Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. All right, I think I need to be able to challenge that knight soon. No? About put the, putting, the, putting the knight on c8 to deal with that. I was on the knight just there, and now here? Trading? Oh, he's taking to the bishop. Forgot that the knight could even take like that. All right, how do I capture? Probably with the rook. I don't want to put my queen opposite there. And now what about a knight on this square? That seems good. This rook feels very, very clumsy. Mm. Let's go here first. <gasps> Oh, I am in some big trouble now. 
I'm getting outplayed. I can't defend this. Ooh. Okay, this square is very scary. Okay, I feel like I need to just push here and give away a pawn. Yeah, so that, like, the bishop doesn't get here or something. Maybe, maybe I didn't have to do it that fast. Okay. That pawn's passed. Play here, I guess. Okay, we're getting a bishop ending. Queens remain on board. Opposite color bishops. I'm down a pawn, but it doesn't really feel like I'm down a pawn. Let's, let's see if we get the queens off. Nope. Oh, the, they're on that. What about here? Damage my pawns. Okay, there you go. Playing so fast, man. I want to keep this pawn around to watch over here. Okay, I'm winning a pawn now. That bishop's frozen. My king to a different spot. Win a pawn. Hmm. I want to get rid of that. Okay, what about this and then push? All right, the wheels are in motion now. This bishop is dead. We're fighting back. I want my king here. It's a cozy home. Improve the rook. Uh, it should be... No, let's get the pawns going a little bit. I think I want to keep one rook on. I could defend that. Undouble my pawns. I'm going to test this out. Moving the king, is the rook hit? Are they going to see that? Yeah. Okay, I get this guy. There, now we're going to get this. We got a queen. All right, I kind of got lucky there. That uh, f5 move concerned me. Check here and then mate on this square. Okay, yeah. That was a tough fight. Um, hmm. Okay, Maya 9. Kind of scaring me there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try one more. Oh, you left before I could rematch. Is that is that built into the uh, algorithm? You you don't do rematches, Maya Nine. All right, let's try Maya Nine. Um, lose a game and quit. Is that the human move right there? <laughs> All right, let's try one more. Get back in the ring, Maya. I'm playing white this time yes okay final game okay let's try c4 yeah i'm i'm actually i'm i'm enjoying these games here this is this is very interesting all right let's see if, are we getting a mover we're getting a mover okay let's go with e4 mm, what kind of is there something i can maybe test out early to see uh, probably not. Grunfeld, bishop here. L let's try e4. It's probably going to be that. No matter what. Let's go with this and then that. Get some space. All right, so it's playing the same way as my uh, one was in the first game. Okay, and after here, this was played. Is it still going to be played at this stage? It is a common move. I do see this at... I see this at many levels. Um, m many experienced players go with this, and then I think you have to go with knight to h5. Yeah, okay. So that right there is a change. As otherwise, I stop that maneuver after knight to d2, and then I could look to focus on f5 much easier. This, this might be a move that simply isn't played. This might be an interesting moment. If I play here, will the bishop be captured, or does the knight go into f4, which I think is optimal? Let's find out. Yes. Okay, so playing some high-quality moves. Let's go here. 
f5. So now there's a threat of taking here and then f4 squashes my bishop. So I have to initiate this exchange, I believe. And now improve my second rank knight. Okay, this rook has no moves. I can't really do anything about that. Um, actually, actually, um, can I, I'm looking to maintain a knight on this square versus this guy. I think I could take here. There could be a blunder if queen takes, then here in the rook, I get the exchange. So after this, the rook would have to recapture, but still there's this move. The light square bishop exchange can't be avoided. And eventually I get a knight on e4. Yeah, there's a blunder. Could totally see that, right? Oh, my queen isn't developed. But missing that the rook is cooked. All right, let's go there. And now here's another thing. That, that rook isn't going anywhere. So similar to that, uh, that one game, opponents in a pin. This rook is simply stuck. So maybe I should keep that the case for at least a move improve something else first i'm thinking here here but then this my knight can't be maintained i need some more support this is a valuable piece uh maybe i begin with f3 i think i like f3 okay now forcing the issue and now knight into here mm Hmm. it's kind of tricky yeah okay that's a good move that is a good move i'm a bit concerned i feel like black has has good compensation that move hmm yeah that's a good move too okay i'm gonna take the knight um i want to get this in okay I'm not allowing that Bay. Okay, get the queens off. I'd love to get the queens off. I need some security here. Yikes. Oh my goodness. Slow down, man. Get a rook off. Check here. Woo! Feel the heat, man. I feel the heat. It's looking kind of scary. Oh, so sneaky. Oh, man. I just lost on time. Whoa. Back to the drawing board. Okay, I guess I don't have to wait for the uh, the more difficult Mayas. I just got smoked there by Maya 9. The final battle. I was looking to win them all. It didn't happen. You know, there's full compensation, it felt like. A lot of pressure there. Mmm. Bishop takes knight. The, the queen battery right here on e4. Ah, I wanted to get some material off. Oh, I didn't even see that I could take with the knight. Ha <laughs> I didn't even see I could take with the knight. Wow. Because otherwise, I'm, I, I guess I'm getting here, here. Queen could go back to... I totally missed. No, it's a blind spot. A blind spot. What else can I say? Okay, anyhow. Uh, yeah, I would have liked to have won that one. But still, these are all... This is all really cool stuff. The uh, playing against the Mayas. Okay. Um, feel free, as usual, to leave any feedback to this video. Um, let me know how you fare if you go ahead and... Uh, play against the Mayas. Let me know how, how you do. And yeah, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all for now. Take care.